we're also able to type the units in manually, let's say 2 inches instead of 40 millimeters. Now let's click Update. That's the traffic light icon here. Notice I've got inches here in my dimension window, but I still show millimeters on the graphic area since we're working in the metric environment. We've also got the option to use negative dimensions. The next option here lets us set the spin increment value. That refers to the increment that we jump by when we click on these up and down arrows. We can set that value right here. I've got 10 millimeters. Let's change it to 5 millimeters. Press Enter to register and accept. Now our increments jump by 5 millimeters. We can also change the dimension, increase or decrease it, by dragging this scroll wheel in the Dimension Input window. The last button allows us to mark the dimension to be imported into a drawing. Let's click OK. And let's exit the Dimension tool by clicking OK. To edit any dimension, just double-click on it in the graphic area. Let's cancel out. In the top right corner, we've got what's known as the Confirmation Corner. Here's where we can exit the sketch and keep our changes, or click on the red X to disregard our changes and exit the sketch without saving. I've accepted, and here's my sketch. Down in the status bar, I've got the quick help tip next. SolidWorks asks me what I would like to do. So this is a list of tips, and it depends on the environment you're in. For example, if I click Edit the Sketch, SolidWorks is going to let me know what to do. So this is a great way to get help as you go along when you're new to SolidWorks. Let's cancel out, disregard our changes, and exit. Next, we've got the Tag dialog window. Let's select Sketch 1. And let's assign a tag to it. We'll call it My Tag, for example. 